In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Plex on a Ugreen NAS. So let's jump into the video. So in this video, I'm going to use the Ugreen NAS DXP4800+. It's an amazing device that says review. In case you guys didn't saw it, I'm going to put the link in the description for a review. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Plex. Because if we go to App Center, how you can see we have Jellyfin, but we don't have Plex. So the first thing that you want to do is click install on docker once you install docker you open it you go to image image database and here you're going to search for plex and you're going to download the first one linux plex but i already have a download here which is you will find it in local as well once you want to download it you're going to click on this plus button here and you're going to click create now here you just you can give whatever name you want so i'm just going to give it plex CPU limit, you can, you know, give it as much as you want. I'm going to put with unlimited. I'm going to click auto restart. So in case the, you know, the NAS shuts down, restart from an update and stuff like this, it will restart Plex. Graphical performance, I'm going to click enable. I'm going to scroll down. And down here, we have to add two things. The first one is TZ. Now what TZ is, is time zone. So me, I'm in Europe. Slash. London and I'm going to click add one more time and I'm going to click put Plex underscore claim now this you will need it from your Plex account so what you have to do is go on playstack.tv slash claim so we take this one we copy it and we just paste it over here now we scroll down and on the first one here on NAS directory we have we need to put the configuration where do we want it to save so we're going to click on it we're going to go into Docker here and here we're just going to create a new folder and we're going to call it Plex. Now we're going to open Plex and it didn't do it here. So double click on it and config. And if we're having another one, we're going to create another one for transcoding since we're here. And this one we're going to choose config and we're going to put slash config. Now we're going to add another one and this one will be the transcoding and we're going to put slash transcoding transcoding and we're going to give read and write permission as well now we're going to add another one and here is where we're going to put our movies so for example here i have it on my network i'm going to click confirm slash movies permission read and write and on the next one i'm going to select my tv shows slash tv shows and i'm going to give read and write as well now how you can see here we have bridge host etc and here we have to put the ports that we will want them to use for the best example you can try leave it like this see if it's work if it doesn't work then we have to change some things I'm pretty sure most of the time it will work so we just click confirm and it will ask you, do you want to create this confirm this container? Run container after creation, confirm. Now we're waiting for the image to be created. And how you can see here, we have Plex up and running. So all you have to do is just click on quit access and click on the first one, or you might have the second one. So you need the one with 32400. This is the port for Plex. And how you can see, we have now access to Plex. So we're going to sign in. So now how you can see, we're on the home homepage of Plex. So let's set it up. So we're going to give this a name. So you green NAS, go into media, add media. Here we just do like normal. So I'm going to call these movies, add folder, browse. And here we will select where we have our movies. So for example, this one. Click add library. Now we're going to add TV programs and voila. Now I'm having this one. This one is an old one. If you see it here, it's just because I already did it once and now I'm deleting it so I can add the new ones. But how you can see it's now adding my movies into Plex. And this is how you install Plex on a Ugreen NAS in 2025. If you do like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.